Hi, in this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create an expandable list view in your Android app. You will also learn how to delete child items from a parent. If you want to explore list view or recycler view, or if you are interested in understanding the concept of adapters in detail, check out my other tutorials from the links in description. By the end of the video, you will be able to make this. Let's get started. Create a new project in Android Studio. Add an expandable list view to the linear layout. Go to RES layout folder and create the layout for group item. Next, I will copy the delete image into drawable folder. Create the layout for child item. In main activity, declare lists for groups and children for each group. Create a map to link groups and children. Declare an expandable list view object reference. Declare an expandable list adapter. Call a method to populate group list. Instantiate group list and add mobile manufacturing company names. Call a method to populate the map. Define create collection below. Prepare data for each group. In our case, string arrays of mobile models. Instantiate the map object. Use a for each loop to traverse the group list. For each loop is commonly used to iterate through an array or a collection, for example, array list, where instead of declaring and initializing the loop counter, we have to declare a variable of same type as the base type of the array or collection, followed by a colon, who is then followed by the array or collection on the right side of colon. Load the child list for each group.
let's define the method. Instantiate child list and populate child list with the string array received in the parameter. Get a handle of expandable list view. Instantiate the expandable list adapter and pass three things in the my expandable list adapter constructor context, list of groups, and the map. My expandable list adapter is our custom adapter that extends base expandable list adapter. We will create this class shortly. Attach the adapter with expandable list view. Attach on group expand listener on expandable list view. If you select an unexpanded group, it should expand. After you select second group, at that time the first group should be collapsed. To implement this feature, have the current expanded group position stored in a variable. If last expanded position is not equals to minus 1 and group position or the variable i is not equals to last expanded position, collapse the group with index last expanded position. Store the current group position. Attach set on child click listener. Get the child using expandable list adapter dot get child method and passed group position and child position as parameters. I am going to show a toast message showing the child element. Next, create the my expandable list adapter class by extending base expandable list adapter. Click on the red squiggly line, press Alt Enter and implement the methods. Declare the required object references. Create the constructor. Instantiate class objects from the received objects in constructor. Return the count of groups. Return the count of children for group position i. Return the group object with group position i. Return the child object with group position i and child position i1. Return the group id, child id and return true from has stable ids. Get the group using group position i. You can also do the same thing using this. If convert view is null, only then we will inflate the view. Find the text view for mobile companies in group underscore item dot xml. I am going to set the typeface to bold. Set the text with mobile company name. Return group view object. Get the mobile model using group position i and child position i1. You can also do the same thing using this. If convert view, that is the fourth parameter, is null, only then we will inflate the view. 
find the text view and image view for mobile models in child underscore item dot XML. Set the text with mobile model name. Attach set on click listener with image view. We will create an alert dialog dot builder object. When this image view is tapped, it triggers a pop-up window where you can remove child items from the group or just cancel the dialog. Get the child list. Remove item with child position or I1 and call notify dataset changed method every time an item is deleted. When no button is tapped, just close the dialog. Return the child view object. Return true if you want the children to be selectable. Create alert dialog object and show the dialog. Oops, I forgot to add the group and child list to the map. Let me correct the typo and run the application to show you the output. Perfect. Thanks for watching. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.